Horrible Bathroom Stories, Volume One. Um, was out on the date with this girl. She, uh, she, you know, she's like half Mexican, half black. Uh, she cooked uh, an amazing meal dish. I guess it was cheese, a lot of cheese in it. It was. I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was because I didn't. I know I'm not lactose intolerant. I don't know what it was in the in the thing. Um, didn't react with my stomach real well. Um, this was at her place. She's like, you know, when you always cook for me, why don't you come to my place and I cook? So she cooked, and I don't know. Some of the stuff maybe been a little bit uncooked. So my stomach, I had to eat just to kind of like, it's just like. So why immediately I, I couldn't hold it anymore. I wanted to go home, and, but my distance was far away. She was all the way like in North Hollywood. I'm in Hollywood, so it was like okay, like. I, and that's the horrible thing. You can't use a person's bathroom on the like a second date or a third date. Go and take you know at their place. You just gotta like. So I thought about it, like, look, I could. I was sweating. She knew my conversation wasn't going well. My con, because you know once you're concentrating on something else, it's hard to like have a full conversation. <laughs> she looked at my face. She's like, are you are you okay? And I'm like, I I don't know. Like just sweat, just just pouring down my head. And I was like, look, I gotta use a bathroom. Um, I try to turn on all the pipes, all the waters, make it look like you know, so it doesn't like a loud noise coming through. Then I went in there. Mind you, doing my thing, taking care of business. <sighs> she had no toilet paper, man. No toilet paper. She had Wendy's napkins stacked up like yellow Wendy's napkins, and it was, it was, it was, it was a serious situation because I'm like, what do I do when there's only like three Wendy's napkins? You can't wipe your butt with three Wendy's napkins, and it looked like it was half used. So I mean like half used meaning like it was in her pocketbook or her purse must have been crumbled up and she kind of like smoothed it out a little bit or flattened it out. But um, it, it, was, it was a traumatic incident. So now, mind you, don't have enough Wendy's napkins. She's in there wondering what's going on. I'm in there, I didn't fully, fully wipe yet. So now I'm in the shower trying to take a shower to wash my butt. <laughs> It's crazy because she's like, are you in there taking a shower? And I'm like, no, I'm not in there taking a shower. So mind you, I'm in there trying to take a shower. There's that one napkin that I didn't use. Now I'm trying to drop my body off with a Wendy's napkin. And you know when you get a napkin and you stick it on wet skin, it start falling apart. So now I mind you from a big, a big Wendy's napkin, now it's like a Tic Tac. So I'm trying to get every little area that I can was really terrible. It's the worst bathroom etiquette story I could tell you. Horrible bathroom stories. That's one volume one, but I got tons of it. And yeah, just stay tuned and listen to the next one. We'll give you part two. Join me, David War, for the next episode of Can I Go Viral? Well, I will soon attempt to make a viral YouTube video.